he appeared like a phantom, a whisper of brilliance. We made it. Stay in. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We are tonight's entertainment. I only have one question. Where is Harvey Dent? Unique tone. Where is Maxwell Chikumbutso right now? Everyone's asking the same. Received one day a call. His son is in the United States of America. Someone telling you that we know where your son is in the United States of America. We're going to kill you. He called me. But they want to kill my son. Those are the threats that we see day in, day out. He is there question where is Maxwell Chikumbutso Maxwell isn't just missing he's mysteriously missing and that mystery holds more weight than most people realize see people aren't just curious about him his followers are searching for him for liberation while his enemies are hunting him down to silence what he represents his sudden disappearance isn't some random coincidence to understand what's happening with Maxwell the African born inventor of self-powered technology we need to rewind a bit Sometimes the best way to understand the future is through the lens of the past. Maxwell has disappeared before. In fact, vanishing has become a survival tactic for him. Long before we ever heard of his revolutionary work, he lived in obscurity until 2015 when he shocked the world with his first self-powered car, a hybrid helicopter and a green off-grid power generator. That same year, he invited well-known American researchers like Foster Gamble and Niels Rognerud, a respected scientist and engineer, to come to Zimbabwe and test his inventions. The results? Successful. Too successful. But on a mission to the US to secure patents, Maxwell and his team were poisoned. A stark warning. Shortly after, he vanished from public view again. Then in 2017, he briefly resurfaced, introducing a new self-powered TV, something even his closest followers didn't expect. And just like that, he disappeared once more, this time going completely dark. No media, no updates, nothing. People assumed he was dead. But in 2025, Maxwell returned, louder and more disruptive than ever. This time, he didn't just bring one invention. He brought an arsenal, two mid-size SUVs, two superbikes, a drone, a portable self-powered generator. And here's the kicker. They didn't roll into the demo venues in trucks. They drove themselves in, they worked. This comeback, it threw the Western world into chaos. Western media collectively hit the mute button. No headlines, no coverage. Western bloggers and influencers went silent too. Not because they didn't see it, but because they did. Maxwell's technology is too disruptive, which has been validated if mass-produced. The Western world, big automotive industries, Western education system, physics, fossil fuel industries, solar panels and batteries, wind farm and shakels of energy dependence will rendered obsolete. And that's why the Western politicians are fighting tooth and nails, using every mice and rat possible to brand him fraud, hoax, criminal, as the matter of facts and figures, you can spot this mice in every comment section about Maxwell on social media, blogs, tweet, vlogs, calling him scammer. But here is where things get fascinating powerful till this very moment. No single substantial evidence have been able to prove him being a scam directly or indirectly. This my friend made African to know this handwriting. They have seen it before in person of Gaddafi, Saddam Hussein, good luck Jonathan, Nikolai Tesla. The list, trust me, is bigger than Wikipedia. The Western plot, sabotage the greatest invention and breakthrough ever recorded in human history and revolutionary movement into a red light. Africa knows the real threat along their path is West. Of course, Maxwell innovation didn't just change the game. It flips the board. It threatens entire industries, economies and the power balance that has kept Africa under for so long. The launch event on February 10th 2025 should have drawn global attention, but 99% of the dignitaries who attended were African. Only a few Westerners and some Asians came, and many of them were suspected to be spies, not investors. Their presence wasn't encouraging, it was threatening. Still, there were bright spots. Maxwell's work has received open support from Zimbabwe's president, Comrade Emerson Nangagwa, and endorsement from the Institute of Science and Technology of Zimbabwe. This is big. Africa now stands on the brink of leading in both energy and automotive innovation. And yet, no major African nation outside Zimbabwe has stepped in to back him financially. The Western response, predictably cold. And that raises a serious question. 
Why did Maxwell go public when his tech isn't mass-produced yet? The answer is both simple and tragic. He lacks the funding. He needs backing to build manufacturing plants and scale production, something the West would have thrown billions at if he weren't African. Aptera's solar-assisted EV with a car top donkey 40 miles range and staggering $40,000 price tag got whooping $100 million through crowd funding even as this car is just an illusion from a system that is designed to enslave diet citizens and selling them garbage dreams. However, this is what suit Western world citizens. He knows the story of Stanley Meyer who was mysteriously killed just before mass producing his water powered car. Maxwell's smart enough to stop dancing even when the music is enticing. He knows when to go underground. Some people think he's dead, others think he's laying low, preparing for his next uppercut move that will finally completely finish the Western hypocrisy and their siblings of same eggs mainstream media. And if we're being honest, there are hints, clues, but for security reasons, I won't be the Judas to spell them out. If 2025 has taught us anything, it's that the Western world's hypocrisy is real. Their smiles hide daggers, their aid comes with chains. So to my fellow Africans, if you know where Maxwell is, keep it to yourself. We don't need European fanfare. We need Chinese-style surprises. We need silence, planning and surgical strikes. Because right now, disappearance is the only way to plan the kind of comeback that hits like an uppercut strong enough to send the world into the heart attack. Maxwell Chikumbutso, a name etched in the annals of innovation, vanished. Gone. The world once captivated by his genius, was left bewildered. A man who dared to challenge the impossible had seemingly disappeared into thin air. Chikumbutso was not a magician, though his inventions bordered on the supernatural. He was an inventor, a visionary, his mind. A crucible of creativity birthed technologies that defied logic and ignited hope. His story, a testament to human potential, now bore the weight of unanswered questions. Where was he? Why had he vanished? The world held its breath, caught between the allure of his genius and the enigma of his disappearance. The story of Maxwell Chikumbuzo, once a beacon of hope, had taken a dark and uncertain turn. Maxwell Chikumbuzo's name resonated with the promise of a brighter future. From the heart of Zimbabwe, he rose, challenging the limitations of technology. His inventions, a testament to his ingenuity, held the potential to reshape industries and redefine possibilities. His most lauded creation, the green power machine, was nothing short of revolutionary. This invention, fueled by radio waves, generated electricity clean and free. The implications were staggering, an end to energy poverty, a cleaner planet. But Chikumbuzo's brilliance didn't stop there. He developed a self-charging television, a helicopter powered by green energy and even a system to prevent accidents on electrified railway lines. His mind was a wellspring of innovation, constantly pushing the boundaries of the possible. The circumstances surrounding Chikumbuzo's disappearance remain shrouded in mystery. Some believe he went into hiding, fearing for his safety and the future of his inventions. His groundbreaking technologies poised to disrupt powerful industries may have made him a target. Others speculate that he was silenced, his work deemed too dangerous for a world beholden to established powers. Conspiracy theories abound, painting a picture of shadowy organizations and clandestine operations. Adding to the intrigue are whispers of his reappearance, fleeting glimpses of the inventor in different parts of the world. Each sighting, however, remains unconfirmed, fueling the flames of speculation and deepening the enigma. The world watches, captivated by the mystery of Maxwell Chikumbuzo. His disappearance has sparked debate and intrigue, raising questions about innovation, power and the price of progress. Governments, organizations and individuals alike are drawn into the narrative, each with their own perspective on the unfolding drama. Some view Chikumbuzo as a hero, a symbol of African ingenuity and resilience. His story, they argue, highlights the potential of the continent and its people. They demand answers, calling for a thorough investigation into his disappearance. Others remain skeptical, questioning the legitimacy of his inventions and the motives behind his sudden vanishing act. They see his story as a cautionary tale, a reminder of the challenges faced by those who dare to challenge the status quo. Despite the global attention and numerous inquiries, Maxwell Chikumbuzo's fate remains unknown. 
The silence surrounding his disappearance is deafening, amplifying the sense of mystery and raising more questions than answers. Did he choose to vanish, seeking refuge from a world threatened by his genius? Or was he forced into hiding, his groundbreaking work deemed too dangerous to see the light of day? The truth, elusive and shrouded in speculation, continues to elude us. One thing is certain. Maxwell Chikumbuzo's story is far from over. His legacy of innovation, the tantalizing glimpse into a future powered by his inventions, continues to inspire and intrigue. The world waits, holding its breath. For the day the silence is broken and the truth, whatever it may be, is finally revealed. Thanks for joining us on this journey. To if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe for more intriguing content.